Hey guys, what's up? Hope everybody's doing well out there and welcome back to another edition of the Fishing Teacher here. Much appreciated you guys checking the video out. Today we're going to be talking about arguably one of the greatest bass catchers of all time and that's the soft plastic stick bait. I'm going to give you guys some tips and advice uh, from a basic ground foundational point of view on how to fish this and understand what it's about a little bit. So anyway, the soft stick bait, guys, is basically just a form of a plastic worm, and it was actually invented oh, probably 25 years ago by a Yamamoto bait company, called, and they called it the Senko. And there's been a lot of knockoffs of it. This is the Zoom's Linky version of it, but they're all basically the same thing. They're like a fat earthworm. Most of them are anywhere between, say, four to seven inches long, a little bit larger than, than traditional straight tails worms. And guys, there, I'm going to say there's probably been more fish caught, more bass caught on a soft stick bait over the past 20 years than any other bass fishing lure out there. It's one that you definitely have to learn starting out in bass fishing if you're going to be successful at it. So it's pretty simple. There's not much you can really do wrong with it. Um, you can te the, the main way to do it is to Texas rig it. We talked about it in my very first video here. And that's just coming through uh, the middle of it with a straight shank worm straight shank worm hook here coming back through just like that just texas rigging it um, like we would with a sinker now you can put a little sinker on it if you want to but a lot of people the effectiveness of the soft stick bait comes with just fishing it with no weight at all like here just with the hook on it because the 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 bulk of this and the fact there's salt in it it sinks a little bit faster than what a, a straight a normal worm was so this is the number one way to fish it is casting it around just bank cover whatever targets are on the bank just with a little uh, straight shank uh, uh, a hook in it with no weight on it usually on anywhere between say 10 to 10 to 15 pound test line now another way that you can rig it we talked about before uh, earlier this week you can wacky rig it um, like you do with just a smaller plastic worm this is another favorite way people like to fish it but the main thing about the soft stick bait guys it does best on a slow fall. It doesn't matter if you wacky rig it or if you just uh, straight Texas rig it straight. You want to you want to just really key on that slow fall. Now it works in a wide range of conditions. Um, you can catch bass on it anywhere between 12 inches to 12 feet of water. It's a very very versatile bait. And one of the things that you can do about it is like if you're fishing. Um, I think I've got a couple right here. If you're fishing water visibility that's a it's a little bit colored. You know, say for, say it's like under a foot and a half visibility, you can get you a darker color on there. Just get you like a June bug or a black or some darker color. And as the water gets a little bit clearer, go to the more natural colors like this. You're going to get more bites on that. But guys, I, the biggest bass I ever caught in my life was on a soft plastic stick bait. I caught it down at Lake Okeechobee in Florida. Um, it catches a lot of bass and it catches the biggest bass in the lake. I, if, if you're going to start out in bass fishing, one of the top three pieces of advice I would give you is to learn how to fish a soft plastic stick bait right off the bat. You can't really go wrong with the way you fish it. Just fish it slow with a light weight on it and it'll add up to a lot of fish for you guys. So we'll do a lot more stuff in future videos on it. Just wanted to introduce you guys to the soft stick bait. See y'all later.